Hey, welcome back. If you follow my channel with any kind of frequency, you know that a few weeks ago, about a month ago, I was in Spain with Bass Chicken. Last week, I was in Greece with Garidi Saganaki. Well, I'm going to take another little culinary trip here. And since I woke up this morning to another coating of snow and I saw a few flakes flying as I was setting up, I'm going to go to Norway and I'm going to make a soup called Fiskazupa or fish soup. Very simple, very simple ingredients. All you really need is some solid soup making skills. And that, just watch what I do. You'll get it. We're going to start off with some butter in the stock pot. We're going to start off with our traditional mirepoix. I've got celery, onion, and some carrot. You'll probably notice I uh, put a little extra carrot in there. There's a reason why. I like carrot. And with all sweats, we're going to start off with a little bit of salt. And we might as well throw the pepper in there. Now for a couple of new ingredients. I've got parsnips. If you've never had parsnips, you're missing something. They're delicious. And finally, we're going to throw in some leeks. And we'll let this sweat for a little bit. We want them to get started cooking. Okay, this has been going on for about 10 minutes. The onions are starting to look really nice. Time to get our other ingredients in. I'm going to start off with a little bit of white wine. That's about five ounces. We'll bring that up to a boil and we're going to boil that down. And while we're at it, we might as well add our herbal ingredients. One bay leaf. Uh, about a tablespoon of chopped thyme. And about a tablespoon of chopped dill. And we'll let this wine reduce down. Okay, the wine's nicely reduced. Time to add our stock. I've got two quarts of fish stock. So we'll let this come to a simmer. And then we'll simmer it until the, the veggies are soft. You know, the carrots and the parsnip. Those are ones going to take the longest time. That'll probably take about 20, 25 minutes or so.
Okay, we're almost there. I just checked the veggies. They're nice and soft, but haven't turned to mush yet. So there's a little bit of bite to them. Let's check our seasoning. Could use a touch more salt. Definitely some more black pepper. And as I am known to do, I like to give it a fresh shot of herbs. I'm just gonna go with the dill. Give it a little more fresh dill in there. It does need a little bit of acid. So I'm going to give it a fresh squeeze of lemon. Just a few drops. And finally, we're going to finish it off with some cream. Oh, and we got some fish going in there too. Uh, that's maybe half a cup of cream. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good for me. Bring this up to a boil. Okay, time to get the, uh, the fish in there. Now these will only take a minute or so, so don't walk away. Except for to maybe get a bowl. There goes our cod and our salmon. Stir them in. And like I said, it won't take long for them to be ready. Okay, the fish is starting to flake. It's done. Time to plate this up. So there you have it. My variation of fisca soup. Just garnish with a little bit of fresh dill, and you're all set. I'm Chef Terry. I'll see you next week. Where from, I don't know. I'll have to come up with that. Oh, um, all the ingredients are down in the description. While you're down there, you know, like, subscribe, smash all those buttons. I'll see you next week. Oh, leave me a comment on uh, where you want me to travel next.